This story began many years ago. In cold December 2018, I found a place which live in my soul since that time. Each year, in the middle of December, I come back here to fill every cell of my body with invisible power and energy. This journey has become a tradition, and today I will tell you the story about my way to the coast, in a wonderful and peaceful place with incredible views. Small village near Irtish river lives its usual life. In winter, the most important thing is to clean the yard from snow and heat the house with wood-burning stove. This morning the temperature dropped below minus 30 degrees. It's uncomfortable to be outside for a long time. The cold air holds your breath. But many local fishermen go to the coast in incredible and sometimes dangerous trip. First difficulties soon came. The heavy car suddenly stops. It means something wrong. In such situations, the first rule is not to make things worse. God bless, the engine is working and the car oven gives you warm air. The second rule is to keep calm. When you start to worry, you can do wrong actions. And of course, take in your travel necessary tools. Shovel is one of them. In any season. In summer, there are no difficulties to overcome this section of the way. But in winter, there are many hidden pits under the snow. I got into one of these pits. After 30 minutes of good exercises with a shovel, the car could continue on its way. Till next pit. This time, it was absolutely my mistake. So, see the rule number one. A few hundred meters and I am in place. I visited it in December last year. A lot of things have changed since that time. Only these places retain their former views. Here you can stay alone with yourself near the hidden ice river. It's an amazing feeling. Hot tea helps to warm up. After hard work with a shovel, you need to change your wet clothes. Otherwise, you will freeze quickly. After the engine stopped, the temperature inside the car started to fall down. Now it's plus 15.6 degrees Celsius. But in a few minutes it will be much colder. In addition to hot tea, a couple of slices of bread with butter will help to warm up. I have checked it on my travels. Indeed. It works. Let's take a walk along the riverside. After a hard road, such walk will be a great rest. Nobody here, only frozen river and you. You can feel the cold breath of Irtish, the second longest tributary river in the world. Its length is around 2640 miles. Just imagine how much power is under the ice. People use this power for a long time. Three hydroelectric plants work on the Kazakh parts of Irtysh River. They are located in Serebransk, Yuskemenogorsk and Shulbinsk cities. Irtysh, like any river, is a unique resource. It gives us not only power for electric energy generation, 
but also water, fish and many other important things. That is why people live near rivers. My story of this way to the coast began many years ago. Since that time, I decided to come back here every year, in December. And you know what? I found an incredible world of alive nature. Although, at first glance, it seems that everything around has died out. This place taught me to hear the sounds of the nature. So now, even in a noisy city, I can hear sounds which not many citizens can hear. For example, in the morning, many of us are in a hurry to go to a bus stop. But how many of us hear birds singing or breathe of wind? We hear noises of thousands of cars, phone bells and people talking to each other about usual things. Just stop. Try to concentrate on unusual sounds and you will find another world even inside your noisy city. Imagine how wonderful this world without all of these noisy sounds. Also, one important thing that I found here is climate change. This December is warmer than before. At the same time, the head of snow covered this year is more than in previous one. It's interesting to see all these things. I am happy that today I could reach this point of route. I wait for this moment every year and every year the unknown scares me. Whether I can get here. This year, despite the difficulties on the way, I managed to achieve the desired goal again. It's time to eat and have a rest. Going back to the car. The midday sun barely warms in the open area, but inside the car everything is different. The sun's rays passing through the windshield of the car give a lot of heat. This effect is similar to the action of magnifying glass. That is why any frost is not terrible in sunny weather, but only during daylight. So if you wish to travel in winter for more than one day, you should prepare your car for such travels. In such travels car is not only a vehicle, it's also bedroom and kitchen. In one world it's also your house. Today the menu includes pasta with a good portion of chicken meat. Delicious! After such a meal it became warm not only in the stomach, but also in the car. Because of the temperature difference outside and inside, the windows of the car were covered with a thin crust of ice from the inside. But it's not a problem. The day is still short in December. It gets dark early. This should be taken into account when organizing the route. You should remember, the goal of any travel is not only to achieve the final point of destination, but come back home also. One of my favorite views here in December is the sunset hours. I have no words to tell you all the beauty of the sunset-colored landscapes. An early rise in the morning, a long road and difficulties on the way here are worth nothing in comparison with these landscapes. It doesn't matter that they only last for a moment. This moment is worth the efforts. It's time to go back home. While it's not dark, I must return to a good road. After a few hours of parking, the car has cooled down. For sure, the engine will start, but will be better to help it a little bit. For these purposes, I use a blow lamp. It gives warm air to the engine and warms up the engine oil a little bit.
this story began many years ago. In cold December 2018, I found a place which live in my soul since that time. Today, I have visited it for a fifth time. A lot of things have been changed in five years. Another car, another opportunities. But the main changes are in my head and in my soul. I am not the same as five years before, and I am proud of it. Every travel, even a small one, has given me something to understand in this life. Today's story was not about the physical way to the coast. It was a story about small things which make us independent from human weakness. Only you decide who you want to be in this life.